Anthony Raj. He has pursued his bachelor's, master's and MPhil in physics. He then went on to pursue his PhD in physics at the University of Madras as well. He then went on to work as a lecturer at Tiruvalluvar Arts and Science College and Idia Engineering College for Women. Since the year 2006, he works as the lecturer and assistant professor at Loyola College, Chennai. With regard to research, he has published several papers in international journals, namely Radio Wave Propagation over Salem, Linear and Non-Linear Optical Properties of Pure and Doped Lelenium Malate Single Crystals, and many more. He has also attended several conferences and seminars, namely International Conference on Material Science and Technology, National Conference on Higher Education at Crossroads held at Loyola College, National Seminar on Crystal Growth 12 held at VIT University and many more. Welcome to UGC Lecture Series, BR Mathematics, Semester 1, Lecture 12. In this lecture, we are going to see simultaneous linear differential equation and the solution of this simultaneous linear differential equation by the method of illumination and the method of differentiation. Then summary about uh, these concepts. These are all the things we are going to see in this lecture. Simultaneous linear differential equations. You know differential equation, any equation which involves uh, the first degree of the derivative of a function and its linear combination with uh, the given function that will give uh, the differential equation and linear differential equation. This linear differential equation can be changed into a homogeneous linear differential equation. Homogeneous linear differential equation as the right hand side is equal to 0. If there is some function in the right hand side, then it is not a homogeneous linear differential equation. These are all some uh, basic concepts about uh, linear differential equation. Suppose these linear differential equations are given in pair, then the simultaneous linear differential equation concept uh, comes into picture. So, consider a system of simultaneous linear differential equation which contains a single independent variable and two or more dependent variable. So, that independent variable uh, will exist uh, in the denominator. Let x and y be the dependent and t be the independent variable. So, using this you can express uh, uh, simultaneous linear differential equation. Thus, in each equation there occur differential coefficients of x, y with respect to t. So, if x is differentiated with respect to t, you will get dx by dt. Like that, if y is differentiated with respect to t, you will get dy by dt. Coefficients of this uh, differential will be Suppose it is expressed as uh, a dx by dt, then a is the coefficient of uh, differential dx by dt, then b dy by dt. Here b is the coefficient of the differential dy by dt. Thus, in each equations there occur differential coefficients of x, y with respect to t. Then it can be expressed in operator form also. You know operator form is the simplified form to express a differential equation. In operator form that d by dx or d by dt is equated to d an operator which can be considered similar to an algebraic operator. So, let d is equal to d by dt then equations can be put in the form that is uh, simultaneous uh, differential equations can be put in the form f 1 of t into x plus f 2 of d into y is equal to t 1. So, let us keep this uh, equation as equation 1. Then g 1 of d into x plus g 2 of d into y is equal to t 2. Keep this as equation 2. These two equations uh, are simultaneous uh, linear differential equation. Instead of this uh, f 1 of d, you can put uh, d by dt, then d by dt into x will become dx by dt, then uh, 
d y by uh, d t is equal to t 1 f 2 into d y by d t is equal to t 1. Then g 1 into d x by d t plus g 2 into d y by d t is equal to t 2. Like that also we can express uh, the simultaneous uh, differential equation. In this equation this t 1 and t 2 are functions of the independent variable uh, t and f 1 of d and f 2 of d, g 1 of d and g 2 of d are all rational integral functions of the operator d with constant coefficients, with constant coefficient. This is how this simultaneous linear differential equation uh, can be expressed or can be defined. Now, in general, the number of equations will be equal to the number of independent variables. In general, the number of equations will be equal to the number of dependent variables. That is, if there are n dependent variables, there will be n equations. In these two equations, we got two dependent variables, x and y. So, we got two equations. Suppose, z is taken into account then three equations are in need to get the value of x, y and z. The value of that x, y and z are nothing but the solutions of these differential equation. So, if one more variable is assumed, then this equation will take a form f 1 of d x plus f 2 of d y plus f 3 of d z is equal to t 1 then g 1 of d x plus g 2 of d y plus g 3 of d z is equal to uh, t 2, then uh, h 1 of d x plus h 2 of d y plus h 3 of d z is equal to t 3. Like that, uh, one more equation or is in need if there are uh, three dependent variable, that is what uh, it, it said here if the number of equations will be equal to the number of dependent variable. If there are n dependent variables, there will be n equations. This is how a simultaneous linear differential equation shall be defined. Now, let us come to the solution part of that simultaneous linear differential equation. There are two methods to find the solution of this simultaneous linear differential equation. First method is uh, method of elimination, then the second method is uh, method of uh, differentiation, method of elimination and uh, the method of differentiation. First we will see about the method of elimination. In this method of elimination, in order to eliminate uh, y between the equations 1 and 2 operating on both, in order to eliminate y between equations 1 and 2, we need to operate uh, on both the equations. We need to operate on both sides of the equation 1 by g 2 of d and both sides of the equation 2 by f 2 of d and subtracting. So, this is uh, the technique we need to follow to get the solution of the given uh, simultaneous linear differential equation. If uh, this is equation 1, this equation 1 should be oper both sides of this equation should be operated by g 2 of d. Here uh, this is uh, that g 2 of d that should be operated at both sides of this first equation. Then the second equation should be operated by f 2 of d. This is the second equation. It should be operated by f 2 of d. Then the obtained results uh, must be subtracted. Then uh, we will get uh, f 1 of d into g 2 of d minus g 1 of d into f 2 of d into x is equal to g 2 of d into t 1 minus f 2 of d into t 2. So, this is the equation we get after doing this operation. Now, this is this expression is a linear differential equation with constant coefficients in x and t and this can be solved to give the value of 
x and t substituting uh, this value of uh, x uh, in either of this equation either in this equation or this equation substituting uh, this value of x in either equation 1 or equation 2 we get the value of y in terms of t. So, this equation will give uh, the value of x substituting the value of x in any one of the equation expressed above you will get uh, the value of y that will be the solution of uh, the given uh, simultaneous linear differential equation. Now, let us apply this technique uh, in a problem given here. Before that, uh, let us see two important things about uh, the solution. The above equations 1 and 2 can be solved uh, by first eliminating x between them and then solving the resulting equation to get y in terms of t. Here it is said that uh, you will get, uh, you, you are eliminating y first and getting the value of x. Then this value of x is substituted in any of the equation and the value of y is obtained. That is how uh, it is explained here. Instead of that, you can first eliminate x also and uh, you can get uh, the value of uh, y and substitute the value of y in any one of the equation 1 and 2 then you will get uh, the value of x in terms of t. This is uh, the method of elimination. In the general solutions of the simultaneous uh, linear differential equations 1 and 2, the number of arbitrary constants will be equal to the sum of the orders of the equations 1 and 2. So, how many number of arbitrary constants are exist there? Those number of arbitrary constants are equal to sum of the orders of the given equations 1 and 2. These are all uh, the points about uh, solutions of the simultaneous linear uh, differential equation. Now, let us apply this point in the given equation in this example. In this example, we are asked to solve the simultaneous linear differential equation. First equation is dx by dt minus 7 x plus y is equal to 0. Then the second equation is d y by d t minus 2 x minus 5 y is equal to 0. These are uh, the two simultaneous uh, linear differential equation. We need to get the value of uh, x and y. So, solution to this differential equation is obtained uh, like this. First express this uh, in uh, operator form that is uh, equate uh, that d by uh, d t to d. Now, the given equation can be rewritten as d minus 7 into a x plus y is equal to 0. This is how the first equation will change after uh, incorporating the operator form. Then the second equation. Um, d minus uh, 5 d minus 5 into y minus 2 x is equal to 0. This is how uh, the second equation will uh, change. Now, take both the equation that is d minus 7 into x plus y is equal to 0, keep this as equation 1, then uh, minus 2 x plus d minus 5 into y is equal to 0, keep this as equation 2. Now, we need to eliminate uh, x uh, by multiplying equation 1 by 2 and operating 2 by d minus 7. Multiply equation 1 by 2 and uh, operate uh, the equation 2 by d minus 5. Operate the equation uh, 2. Now, after doing that, we will get uh, an equation like this that is 2 into d minus 7 into x plus 2 y is equal to 0. Keep this as equation 3. Then uh, minus 2 into d minus 7 into x plus d minus 7 
into d minus 5 into y is equal to 0. Keep this as equation 4. These are the two equations uh, we get uh, after doing uh, the above said uh, operation. Now, adding equation 3 and 4. Adding equations uh, 3 and 4, we get d minus 7 into d minus 5 plus 2 into y is equal to 0. This is uh, the equation we get uh, after adding equations uh, 3 and 4 by simplifying this. After simplifying this, we will get uh, d square minus uh, 12d plus uh, 37 into y is equal to 0. Here this d minus 7 and d minus 5 uh, are multiplied. So, you got uh, d into d d square then minus 7 d um, minus 5 d then uh, plus uh, 35 then that plus 35 is added with this 2 we got 37 that minus 7 d and minus 5 d are added we got minus 12 d this is how uh, we got uh, this equation. Now, this is nothing but uh, this is similar to uh, an uh, ordinary second order uh, linear differential equation. So, from uh, simultaneous uh, linear differential equation, we are in the step of uh, uh, ordinary second order linear differential equation. This second order linear differential equation can be solved by taking uh, the auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation is m square minus 12 m plus 37 is equal to 0 is the auxiliary equation. Now, if you simplify this, we will get the roots as uh, m is equal to 6 plus or minus uh, i. Since it cannot be uh, factorized directly, you can use uh, the simplified technique like uh, minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a c by 2 a. This is uh, the formula to elementary formula to get the roots of uh, a quadratic equation. After substituting the values, we got uh, the uh, roots as 6 plus i and 6 minus i. Here, the general solution for this differential equation will be y is equal to e power uh, 60 into c 1 cos t plus c 2 sin t. So, this is uh, the general solution of uh, the obtained uh, second order uh, linear differential uh, equation. Let us keep this as uh, phi. Now, this c 1 uh, and c 2 are the arbitrary constants, arbitrary constants. Now, we need to find the value of uh, x. We obtain the value of y. Next, we need to find uh, the value of x. Uh, to get that, um, we need to e use the equation 2. Now, equation from equation 5, differentiating with respect to t. Equation uh, 5 is uh, differentiated with respect to t. So, we get d y is equal to 6 e power 60 into c 1 cos t plus c 2 sin t plus e power 60 into minus c 1 sin t plus c 2 cos t. So, this is uh, the thing uh, we get uh, after differentiating the equation 5. Equation 5 is nothing but uh, the solution of the obtained uh, second order uh, differential equation. On simplification of this, uh, we get d y d suffix y that is differentiation of y with respect to t is equal to 6 e power uh, 60 into 
6 C 1 plus C 2 into cos t plus minus C 1 plus 6 C 2 into sin t that is the sin component and cos component uh, are clubbed. So, here uh, cos component is 6 C 1 plus uh, C 2 and sin component is minus C 1 plus uh, 6 C 2 keep this as equation uh, 6. Now, substituting uh, y and uh, d y in equation 2. In equation 2, we get the value of x as x is equal to 1 by 2 into e power uh, 60 into c 1 plus c 2 into cos t plus minus c 1 plus c 2 into sin t. So, this is uh, the value of x uh, we get after substituting the value of y and uh, the differentiation or derivation of y with respect to t in equation 2. Keep this as equation uh, 7. Now, the equations 5 and 7 are uh, the general solutions uh, of the given uh, simultaneous linear differential equation 5 and 7 or uh, the required uh, solutions uh, solution of the given differential equation. So, y value uh, is nothing but uh, y is equal to c, uh, e power uh, 60 into c 1 cos t plus uh, c 2 uh, sin t then x value is nothing but uh, 1 by 2 into e power uh, 60 into c 1 plus c 2 cos t plus uh, minus c 1 plus c 2 into sin t. So, this is how uh, you can get the solution of simultaneous differential uh, equation. Next, uh, we will go to uh, method of differentiation. In this method of differentiation, uh, we can consider the following differential equation f 1 of uh, x plus f 2 of uh, d into y is equal to t 1 that is f 1 of d into x plus f 2 of d into y is equal to t 1 keep this as equation 1 then g 1 of d into x plus g 2 of d into y is equal to t 2 keep this as equation t 2. Earlier we discussed the method of elimination to obtain the solution of uh, the simultaneous linear differential equation. Here method of differentiation. This method of differentiation uh, will be used uh, when uh, there is a difficulty in eliminating x and y. So, that sometimes x and y can be eliminated if we differentiate 1 and 2. In that earlier case straight away we eliminated uh, the x and y, but here uh, by differentiation uh, this x and y are eliminated. So, after elimination of uh, x uh, we will get the value of y, substitute the value of y in any one of uh, these two equation we will get uh, the value of uh, x uh, that for example, assume that the given equations uh, 1 and 2 relates 4 quantities like uh, x, y, dx by dt, dy by uh, dt. Next, uh, differentiating 1 and 2 with respect to t. So, here the equation 1 is f 1 of d into x plus f 2 of d into y is equal to t 1, g 1 of d into x plus g 2 of d into y is equal to t 2. Differentiating uh, the equation 1 and 2 with respect to t, we get uh, 4 equations containing x dx by dt d square x by dt square and y dy by dt and d square y by uh, dt square for 4 equations uh, will be there containing uh, these entities. Eliminating 3 quantities like uh, y dy by dt d square y by dt square from these 4 equations uh, then uh, y is uh, obtained and we get an equation of the second order with x uh, as the dependent uh, and t as the independent variable. So, that 
that second order uh, linear differential equation can be solved, it will give uh, the solution, uh, that solution will be the value of x. Now, solving this equation, we will get the value of x uh, in terms of uh, t. This is how uh, the differentiation method uh, can be used. Now, substituting this value of x in either equation 1 or 2, we get the value of y in terms of t. This technique uh, is very useful uh, in uh, solving the simultaneous linear uh, differential equation. So, here you are given uh, determine the general solution for x and y for dy by dt minus y is equal to t, then dy by dt plus x is equal to 1. So, these two equations are simultaneous uh, differential equation. These two equations can be solved using uh, the method of differentiation. So, let us express this uh, in operator form. In operator form, it will be dx minus y is equal to t, keep this as equation 1. Then the second equation will be x plus dy is equal to 1. X, keep this as equation 2. Now, differentiate equation 1 uh, with respect to t, you will get uh, d square a x uh, minus d y is equal to 1. Keep this as equation 3. This is the equation obtained after differentiating equation 1 with respect to t. Now, we can eliminate y by adding uh, equation 3 and 2 to get d square plus 1 in into x is equal to 2, keep this as equation 4. Now, in this equation y is eliminated, this elimination of y is obtained by adding equation 3 and 2, 3 and 2, the, you have a differential equation of the variable x. Now, axillary equation for this one is m square plus 1 is equal to 0, then the general solution uh, will be complementary function is equal to c 1 cos t plus uh, c 2 sin t. This is uh, the complementary function for uh, the above uh, axillary equation or the general solution. Here that uh, c 1 and c 2 are uh, arbitrary uh, constants. Now, the particular integral for this uh, equation will be p i is equal to 1 by d square plus 1 into 2, which is equal to 1 plus d square the whole inverse into 2. Now, this 1 plus d square the whole inverse uh, can be binomially expanded. The whole inverse or power minus 1 is equal to 1 minus d square plus etcetera and into t, which is equal to into 2 which is equal to 2 by neglecting uh, the higher order differentiation. Hence, uh, the general solution x is equal to c 1 cos t plus c 2 sin t plus 2. Keep this as equation uh, 5. Now, from equation 1, equation 1 we get uh, y is equal to c 2 cos t minus c 1 sin t minus t. Keep this as equation 6. Uh, these two uh, equations are the solutions of uh, the given uh, differential equation d y by d t minus y is equal to t d y by d t plus x is equal to 1. Here, the method of differentiation is used uh, to eliminate uh, x and y, this uh, solutions are x is equal to c 1 cos t plus c 2 sin t plus 2, y is equal to c 2 cos t minus c 1 sin t minus t. So, from this lecture, we learnt uh, about simultaneous linear differential equation. We learnt the definition of uh, simultaneous linear differential equation f 1 of d into x plus f 2 of d into y is equal to t 1 and g 1 of d into x plus g 2 of d into y is equal to t 2. 
or the simultaneous linear differential equation here that t1 and t2 are functions of the independent variable t and f1 of d, f2 of d, g1 of d, g2 of d are all rational integral functions of d with constant coefficients. Then solutions of this simultaneous linear differential equation can be obtained by two methods, one by method of elimination, then another one is by the method of differentiation. So, these are all the concepts we learnt in this lecture. After listening to this lecture, you can answer these following questions. What is known as simultaneous linear differential equation? List different methods to find the solution of simultaneous linear differential equation. List the steps followed in finding solution for simultaneous linear differential equation by the method of elimination. Thank you.